bought a 60 inch ceiling fan so it's a hunter and it's got LED, LED lights in it so alright well let's uh, see if we can put this thing together well there's all the parts okay there's the instructions we don't need no stinking instructions Let's see, this is the Hunter Channing, so that's what style of um, ceiling fan I have bought from Home Depot, and it's it's a 60 inch, so, well, this side says it's 152 centimeters, but on the other side it says 60 inches, and these are the blades, comes all packaged together, they're all in one piece of, of uh, plastic that's wrapped around it. All right, so I'm going to take the blades apart, and then we'll start putting putting the blades on these. So these are the what holds the blades, and it mounts it to the fan. So all right, we'll get started with those. Taking the plastic off. And this particular one model has a, a lighter side and a darker side. So they're both wood grain, so I guess it matters to what you're what you want. What if you want the lighter side or if you want the darker side. So what I will do is I want this to be this side, the lighter side, to be what I have in my room, which shows. So these will be on that side, so I'll, mount, I'll put these here, like this, and then put screws on it. So we'll get started with that. In the kit, there comes, uh, these are grommets to fit in the holes, and here's the screws for mounting. So now I'll put the, put the, blade and I attach it to the arm. There's a little trick to uh, pushing these grommets in. You just, as you see, I've got two of them already mounted in, but they, you know, they just squishy type uh, grommets. So you just start putting it in the hole and just push it in until it uh, goes all the way in so you just have to work with it and you could there may be a special tool for doing this but God gave me fingers to do this with so that's what I'm using the screws are Phillips heads so you need a Phillips screwdriver to uh, and it looks like a number two to uh, attach the arm to the uh, to the blade so I'll do that this is what it looks like when you have the screws in now you just tighten the screws until the threads aren't very long so just tighten the screws until it bottoms out with your screwdriver And there it is that's bottomed out all right and that's that's so that's the bottom side so this is the part that will be seen and that's it attached so it's nice and snug and that looks pretty good um, and just do all five blades this one comes with five blades so do all five blades the same way all the blades have been attached to the little, to the arm, so that's what it looks like. So, yeah, we'll continue on. I've gotten all blade, all five blades put together. Instructions. All right, there's the table of contents. Shows you what you should have. You need a ladder. You need a screwdriver. So, very important step here it says if you were unfamiliar with a wiring use a qualified electrician if you're working with this thing and you're going to put up a new one new ceiling fan 
and you need you're going to need the instructions and you need to get rid of that power so don't work on it with power applied to the fan cuz you can get killed doing that this is where I'm going to put the new fan I've removed the old fan that was up here so you can see there's the white wire and the black wire and there's there's the black wire just just barely sticking out of the hole now the circuit is off I've thrown the circuit breaker in the breaker panel for ceiling fans now what I'll do is I have a meter and I've got it set on AC 200 volts so and then I'll I'll test the circuit and make sure that there is no power at the circuit so the red lead goes to the white one and the black lead goes to the black one so that's what I'll do to test it so make sure that there's no no voltage here so the shroud mounts to the bracket so and then under that is the fan head the motor head so that's the way that mounts just like that there's the fan on the ceiling so and this was what the the lights and will attach to here to the bottom side and then the blades will attach in these holes so this is the part that turns but uh, we'll start putting the blades on and then we'll attach the lights okay all the fan blades are on now so in these need to be tightened down really tight so there's two screws that holds each fan blade in so that's the way that goes right there so this piece here fits like this up on these two screws that I just put in right here and right here now there's a third screw that comes in over here on the other side so these will fit right up in there ring is in place and all three screws are in so to the next part this is the light assembly and this connector goes with this connector right here so those two snap together okay you can see that the A and the A's snap together and there's L and L on this side so they snap together so that's way the way that the light fixture is that's the way it connects up okay that's the light fixture installed and there's three screws that go around the outside of it to hold the light fixture up after dropping the screws about oh a dozen times a piece and having to look for them I finally got it up so what I want to do next is loosen these small screws here around the light fixture and then put the fixtures on okay the globes are all installed so tighten these up that keeps them from falling off so this this light comes with LED lights so just screw them in just like a regular regular light socket just. like so okay the bulbs are in almost time to turn it on see if it works hey it works 